Hey, I'm here at a house that my company is building with Ultra Studio Architecture, and I want to talk to you about choosing your weather resistive barrier. So when you're choosing your weather resistant barrier, commonly referred to as your house wrap, you really want to take into account the type of architecture that your house has. You know, this house by Alter Studio, this is an ultra modern house. We've got board formed concrete walls, we've got walls of glass, and most importantly, we've got either very short or no overhangs. And when we're missing those overhangs, these walls are going to see a lot of rain and they don't have a lot of protection from that rain. So the type of house wrap we choose is really important. Let's talk about the specific product we used on this house. This is Polyguard's Aluma Flash. This is a 40 mil product. It's a peel and stick. If you look here, this, this product peels off and fully adheres to the wall. So now this product is fully adhered through the length of the wall. So now I've got a perfect air barrier. I also like that this is a very thick product. This is 40 mils thick, and it's not exactly self-healing. That's a bit of a misnomer in the industry, but it is self-gasketing. You know, if we, if we screw a screw into this wall that's behind me here, and we fasten that fastener with some pressure, there's a gasketing effect when we push into that. The other thing I like about this product in particular is this foil facing on here. Two things I like about that, that foil facing is gonna give us a radiant barrier. So if I've got a rain screen gap in front of this, we've got some radiant properties to this house wrap. Uh, the other thing I really like about that is the long exposure rating on this. You know, most peel and sticks need to be covered within 30 or 60 days. This one is rated for an entire year of exposure because of that foil facing on the outside. Very good product. If you're doing modern houses, you really need to pay attention to these waterproofing details. If you'd like more information, you can visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.